Shoe shop. It's the it's the walking shop. Shoe gaze. Yep. It is gray. It is a gray day. So what's happening in the world, Callum, right now? Oh, way too much. Current affairs. We've got Donald Trump spouting bigotry. Yeah. Uh, we've got his amazing stupid hair. The thing with Donald Trump is I have a hard time thinking that he's a real candidate. Well, like he's. It's amazing that he's been as successful as he has been already because he's alienated Four, six, almost eight, every portion of two, American society and two, except castle. straight white men yeah. who have money. We've seen time and time again that things get blown out of proportion because it makes good news. Yeah. Like the last election in the States mm. was not as close as they like to say it was. Yeah. And nor was our own election. Nor was our own. Once yeah. the dust settled, it was really clear that Obama was going to hold on to his presidency and the, the um, Tories were going to hold on to theirs here. Yeah. But, you know, in the run-up, everyone likes to think that, you know, likes to talk a bigger game. But also, especially in this country, there are special rules about um, during elections, you have to give equal billing to everyone who's running. Yeah, yeah. So you can't see, be seen to be favouring anybody. But I like to think, or at least hope, that Donald Trump doesn't stand a chance in hell, and it's just well, all well, plays. He came second in the Iowa, Iowa caucus. So. Second out of how many, though? Ah, uh, like four. Uh, they're so, all boring, though. Yeah. He got beaten by Ted Cruz. That'll be fine. We'll be fine. Zayn Malik. Zayn, Zayn Malik, Malik just dropped his first solo Pillow single. Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk, and it went to number one. And I've not heard it, so that's pretty much all I've got to say about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's well produced. Yeah. Yeah. There's Almost no doubt on that. So many people have died. Just in the first month of this year, we've lost David Bowie, we've lost um, Alan Rickman, and we just lost Sir Terry Wogan. The markets are down. Oh, yeah, good. All good the trading is terrible right now. Like, everyone's really sad about money and the economy. Everyone's like hunkering down and not taking risks, which I mean is good. It's defensive. Yeah, everyone's defensively trading because it's, everything's down. In China, um, at the start of this year, they had to shut the market down like in the middle of the day twice. Just Four, because six, it was going so badly. Just because it was going wrong. Elephant and Castle. I, I love that. Like, it's not going the way we want it to go. Just shut it down. We have a man in space. We have a man in space. His name is Tim Peak. Tim Peak. He did a spacewalk. British guy doing a spacewalk. Everyone's very excited about that. There's a whole section of the BBC News website just dedicated to him and what he's doing and what he's eating and, and when he's pooping and like does he jerk off does he not how's it how's it feel to dance in space there's some good TV oh yeah there's really good TV at the moment we just started the new season of shield shield which is great and very addicting and we, uh, we're watching the BBC's adaptation of War and Peace which is fantastic it's gorgeous and sad yeah but everyone's very well dressed. Peaky Blinders back soon as well. Peaky Blinders, and that, back soon. that will change everything. And we're watching Man in the High Castle. Yeah, which is great. Um, and yours is an original. Yeah, we've got a few of those now. Transparent. It's we one need, of my favourite things. We need to catch up on that. You're still on the Great Anatomy treadmill. Yeah, Mandy and I, in the whole last year, we watched eleven seasons of Grey's Anatomy, and I don't regret it. And we're still watching it, we're watching the most recent season, and it's good. It's a good show. It's fun. The latest in the award-winning Alvin and the Chipmunk series is coming out soon. The Road Chip. Yeah. Yeah, it's called The Road Chip. So today is Saturday, and we're hanging out in the Imperial War Museum. Yeah, for sadness. It's going to be really cheery and happy. <laughs> that is a large, large, large bomb. Busting chops and taking names with our giant phallic flying apparatus. Penises of death raging down on non-believers. Yeah. Callum, look, it's a cannon. It's a cannon? You love cannons. Allegedly. Wow. Yeah. I can't imagine anything more. Would you ever different. do that? No. No? No, I don't like being shot at. I have a natural aversion to it. I'm glad someone does it, though. Yeah. Free from pitch or tar, last the season, not a hate. Weather does not affect it. Scours out easily with soap. May be had in any colour.
please do not touch or climb on the giant phallic symbol of patriarchy. That was suitably, that was sobering. Yes. Suitably depressing. Yeah. And fascinating. And rather magnificent. It made me thankful to be living in this time. Yeah. Rather um, than... Rather than forced. any of the last hundred or so years. Yeah. We may have the Syrian refugee crisis. Yeah. And ISIS yeah. are a thing. They, they are. And they'll still be a thing in a year's time. Yeah. But with weird 25 year old British men and we have not been forced to join the army. Exactly. And sent to other countries for reasons we don't fully understand. So we have a lot to, we have a lot to be thankful for. Yeah, we do.